I've been promising a few people a story. I was actually going to tell this story at one point during one of the challenges today, but that challenge was already running long, and this story, I don't know how long it's going to take to, because this is the first time I'm telling it, because it just happened. This is a true story. How many people here have never been to one of the wars? Neither had I. And then, and then I was your king, or one of them anyway. And one of the things we do is go to war. And what's more, North Shield tradition is not every time, not every consort, but not uncommonly, the consort, if they are not already a combatant, will take up some combat part. Usually the rapier, as did I. I authorized just in time for Gulf Wars. Gulf Wars was my first war. Just three weeks passed? Three weeks. One loses count after a while. Maybe it's only two. I don't know. It all blurs. I'm not going to tell you about the whole war. That would take too long. That would take at least as long as it took us to do it. I'm going to tell you about the Rapier Ravine Battle. Now, first of all, when I talk about a ravine, I'm talking about a ravine. There is a ravine on site. It is an actual valley in the middle of the Gulf War site. Second of all, what you need to know is that our resurrection line was uphill from the battlefield. The third thing you need to know is I'm not in very good shape. Part of this story is about me and part of it is about North Shield. It's about something I had heard for years about North Shield at Gulf Wars and had not understood until I saw it for myself and was in the <laughs> middle of it myself which is that at Gulf Wars, particularly in the rapier battles, North Shield makes a material difference in the outcome of the battle. It is North Shield's army that frequently makes a difference in the outcome. Now that does not mean we won the battle. Everyone who was a part of that side, the Trimaran allies, won that battle. But there was a point, and yes, I'm telling this way out of sequence. There was a point when if you looked on the left flank, you saw black and gold tabards of North Shield. Like that one, right there. And if you looked on the right flank, you saw more of those. And if you looked at the center, you saw the white and black tabards of our hellhounds. North Shield was the architecture that held that line. All along the line, it was North Shield who was buttressing the Trimaran allies. And the end result is that the Anseoran allies got to the flags twice. The final score was 34 to 2. <laughs> now again, I stress, North Shield did not win that war. The Trimaran allies won that war all together. And of course, Gulf Wars is a war without an enemy. We were fighting our friends. We were smiling as we were killing people. <laughs> we were laughing at each other as we went, point! My one actual kill in the Rapier Ravine battle, offhand. <laughs> so, as I said before, I am not in good shape. So the idea of having to trudge up the hill to resurrect looked like it could get old really fast. <laughs> Especially when I died within five seconds of them calling late on the first time. I did not last long at all. But I went back down and I trudged back up. And each time got a little harder, and a little harder, and a little harder. But as Jane and several other people will tell you, Every time I stood back or sat down, because Katie was nice enough to provide me a chair, and caught my breath and thought, I don't know if I can do that again. One more time. <laughs> down I went. One of the reasons for this, and some of you heard me tell this story earlier, one of the reasons for this was there was a little old lady, 65, maybe more, 
She was dressed all in black. She looked like a nun with a fencing mask. <laughs> she would trudge out to that line. And she would trudge back to resurrection. And I'm like, if she's doing it, I don't have any excuse. <laughs> and so I'd trudge right back out again. And when I asked her afterward, uh, I had someone find her so I could tell her she had inspired me to go out there and keep doing it. And she said, well, one of the only reasons that I was, I was moving so poorly, frankly, is I haven't authorized Rigid Perry yet, so I couldn't use my cane. <laughs> <laughs> the experience of that battle. Now, I'm told, even from the standpoint of the people watching it, it was pretty intense for all that, like a lot of professional sports events, a one-hour battle took three hours. <laughs> because they kept calling hold, things happen. Time dilated, it's, it's confusing. When it was over, I trudged back to camp. I don't remember if I got a card or not, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> and I was laughing the whole time. Yeah. Couldn't stop. I got back to camp, I flopped in, in one of those chairs, <coughs> and my feet hurt like they had not hurt in years. And that was funny. That was the funniest thing ever. Anoxia, adrenaline, dehydration, and my feet hurt like hell. And I'm going back next year. <laughs>